My name is Elizabeth Hollick and I live here in White Rock and I paint and draw and love it here actually. Walk to the beach quite often, always sketching, always drawing and now I'm making paintings out of my drawings. I've got a little space so I'm looking back and I'm taking sketchbooks and making jigsaw puzzle pictures out of them. So quite engrossed in what I'm up to. I'm 18 next year, so I've been practicing art since I went to art school in 1961. And I did three years at art school. And then I, I was just at the time when art turned from artsy stuff that I understood to conceptual art, which you had to have this idea. And I hardly understood what I was doing, what um, I was being asked to do. So anyway, I did some really weird stuff. Go and have an, an experience, the teacher would say. Go and have an experience. So I get on the bus and I drive, I go with it to Hyde Park's where I'm going to have my experience. And I see men walking up and down Oxford Street with signpost, railway lost property. That's the experience I'm going to have. So I jump off the bus, go and sign up for a day. And they let me do that and then go back to the art school. Um, forgotten the name, St Martin's up near Trafalgar Square and make a sculpture of it. And then when my father saw what I was up to, what I was making, he was so upset. He, he, we had this big row, actually he rowed, I just listened. And then the next day I jumped off the bus on my way to college and joined the Navy. <laughs> so I knew I wanted to go to art school when I was about 13. The art teacher said, um, you don't want to do that, there's no money in that. And then when I left school, she said, oh, you should have told me you were going to art school, I would have given you a prize. <laughs> so anyway, I loved it. It's the first time in my life I actually felt at home doing art and painting and drawing that was me. And that's how I feel about being here. In the studio, I walk in the space, this is all me. I love my family, I love my friends. However, coming in here, it's me this person is coming out and nothing makes you more happier it's great art is important to me because it's me it's where i belong it's who i am i'm totally at home in with art whatever i'm doing even paper mache dogs or whatever i'm getting up to i think art's very important to white rock <laughs> because people come across it they come across a mural and they love it and they come across different parts of stuff or they go to exhibits and the enthusiasm is huge. People love all that stuff. It takes them out of themselves. 